Hey guys, today we're going to do an experiment to find out how carbon dioxide affects pH and find out how this might affect marine life. So what I have here is cabbage water. And if you want to do this ex experiment yourself, go to the description and we'll tell you how to do it. Um, so this is cabbage water at neutral pH and cabbage water is a natural pH indicator, which means it'll change color based on the pH. So here is cabbage water at acidic pH, so it's pink. Um, and at basic pH, it turns kind of a green or a blue. Now I'm going to take some dry ice and all dry ice is, is frozen carbon dioxide. So now I'm going to drop my dry ice, my frozen CO2, into one of my jars. And the other one we will leave as a control. So the dry ice is bubbling through our jar, uh, getting all that carbon dioxide dissolved in our cabbage juice. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So by now we're starting to see kind of a color change. So this one is becoming a little bit pinker and this one is still, uh, of course, neutral. So the next thing we want to find out while this is going is how might this affect sea life? So uh, if CO2 from our atmosphere is ending up in our oceans, what is this doing? Uh, we're obviously seeing a pH change here and you probably know, especially if you've ever had an aquarium, that aquatic life uh, needs to maintain a very specific pH in order to survive. So for our next experiment, we are going to use chalk. And again, if you're going to do this at home, read the description to see how to do it. Um, so we are going to take three little pieces of chalk and I have three pieces that are all roughly the same size and that are the same color just to be a really good control. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop these um, into a neutral acid and base solution. And we'll see which one dissolves the chalk the fastest. So I'm gonna swirl them around a little bit. It looks like there's there's a few chunks in our in our basic solution. Um, our our neutral solution doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Let's see what's happening with our acidic solution. So this one actually seems to be coming apart quite a bit. So now let's go back to our two jars. We've got our control right here and our dry ice experiment right here. And you can see it's still bubbling a little bit um, and it is now quite pink and quite acidic. Chalk, coral, and shells all have something in common and that is that their structure is dependent on calcium carbonate. So now that you've seen how acidity affects chalk, maybe you can develop some hypotheses of your own as to how ocean acidification might affect coral and marine life. In fact, scientists are very interested in this question and they've conducted some studies to find out how acidification of our oceans uh, is affecting coral reefs. They've determined that increasing acidity makes it more difficult for new coral to form and is a large factor in explaining why we've lost so much of the Great Barrier Reef over the past few decades. Hope you enjoyed this video. I encourage you to go out and try it at home or in your classroom, uh, come up with your own experiments and see if you can find some ways to reduce your own carbon footprint.